Hello, I am Jamal Zakri, a professor of medicine and a consultant medical oncologist at King Faisal Specialist Hospital and Research Center in Jeddah. Fluoropyrimidines remain the backbone of chemotherapy regimens used for the treatment of the majority of patients with metastatic colorectal cancer in the first and second line settings. Combining fluoropyrimidines with second generation cytotoxics such as oxaliplatin and alinity can improve the outcome. Depending on the tumor biology, further addition of anti-epidermal and antivascular growth factor antibodies improve the outcome even further. 5-fluoroerosil is the most commonly used fluoropyrimidine in metastatic colorectal cancer regimens. It's mostly administered as a prolonged intravenous infusion requiring long intravenous catheter placement and the use of special delivery apparatus. These inconveniences are avoided by replacing 5-FU with oral capcitabine. These replacement regimens are proven to be effective and well tolerated. Cetoximab, an anti-epidermal growth factor receptor antibody, improves the response rates, progression-free survival, and overall survival of patients with RAS wild-type colorectal cancer when combined with chemotherapy. Until recently, the FDA approved the schedule of cetoximab consisting of a first loading dose of 400 mg per square meter, followed by 250 mg per square meter every week. On the other hand, most chemotherapy regimens for the treatment of metastatic colorectal cancer are administered biweekly. This creates frequent visits to the hospital inconveniences and extra cost. Studies in the first decade of this century show the equivalence of weekly 250 milligrams per square meter and bi-weekly 500 milligrams per square meter of cetoximab. Therefore, and since 2009, we adopted the use of bi-weekly cetoximab in our routine practice. In addition, we adopted bi-weekly Zilox and Zeliri to provide a convenient treatment regimen that ensures a parallel administration of chemotherapy and cetoximab. The regimens of bi-weekly Zilox and Zeliri were made available for patients beside other colorectal cancer regimens. The aim of our study is to report our experience with these bi-weekly regimens coupled with planned and structured evaluation of efficacy and tolerability. The sample size is not based on statistical considerations and it represents the number of eligible patients who started bi-weekly Zilox or Zeliri in combination with bi-weekly Cetoximab in the first or second line settings between January 2009 and May 2019. The dose of capecitabine was 1,000 mg per square meter twice daily for nine days, combined with either oxaliplatin, 85 mg per square meter on day one in the biweekly Zilox regimen, or combined with alinotecan, 180 mg per square meter on day one in the biweekly Zeliri regimen. The dose of cetoximab was 500 mg per square meter, administered intravenously on day one every two weeks. 88 patients were identified, 13 of them were excluded on further scrutiny as they did not meet the strict eligibility criteria. Due to the retrospective nature of the study, some patients received treatment based on limited RAS results, i.e. with only exon 2 k RAS wild type genotype. For the purpose of this study, additional k RAS and n -RAS tumor mutational analysis of archival tissue was performed for these patients. Nine patients were excluded due to the identification of other KRAS or NRAS mutations. Four patients were excluded as their archival genetic material was not suitable for RAS testing. We ended up with 61 patients whom all fulfill all the inclusion criteria and were included in the final analysis. More than half of patients experienced objective radiological response, medium progression-free survival, 
and overall survival were within the expected range? Interestingly, patients who received Zilox and Cetuximab in the first-line setting achieved a very favorable outcome with a response rate of 68%, a median progression-free survival of 10 months, and the median overall survival was not reached at the time of analysis, with more than half of the patients remaining alive on long follow-up beyond three years. There were no grade 4 cetuximab toxicities. Grade 3 skin rash was reported in 9.8% and diarrhea in 11.5% of patients. Interestingly, Zeliri and cetuximab did not increase the risk of diarrhea compared to Zilox and cetuximab, although about half of patients required cetuximab dose delay but in reality, only a minority of these patients, about 13% of the total cohort, it was for toxicities likely related to cetuximab, such as rash, paramnechia, fatigue, and diarrhea. Cetuximab was discontinued permanently in one patient due to an allergic infusion reaction. Cetuximab dose reduction was required in only three patients, i.e. 5%. The dose reduction was for only one level, which is a reduction by 20%, meaning to a dose of 400 mg per square meter. On a broader scale, it's interesting to know that interest in biweekly cetuximab became more apparent with the recent publications in the years 2020 and 2021 of the results of a meta-analysis and a pooled analysis of weekly versus biweekly cetuximab. Both analyses confirmed the non-inferiority of the biweekly regimen and support its use instead of weekly cetuximab. Additionally, in April 2021, the US FDA approved the biweekly regimen of cetuximab at a dose of 500 mg per square meter for patients with colorectal cancer and squamous cell carcinoma of the head and neck. These recent publications and the recent FDA approval confirm the value of our practice that was adopted since 2009. To conclude, in patients with extended RAS wild type metastatic colorectal cancer, biweekly cetuximab in combination with biweekly Zilox or Zilili is tolerable and has a manageable toxicity profile and is associated with a favorable outcome. The efficacy of these schedules is perceived to be comparable to other established schedules, considering the heterogeneous population treated in routine clinical practice. Our results add to the already accumulating clinical evidence and support the administration of biweekly cetuximab regimen. Our findings should reassure oncologists to consider combining this regimen with the convenient biweekly oral capcitamine-based chemotherapy in the form of Zilox and Zilili.